Hi, this is Jennifer Hudson, teaching professional at the Academy of Golf at Ocean Reef Club, here with a new golf positive solution for you this week at the reef. We're out on dolphin number four. It has a little bit of wind into it today, so what we're gonna do is a swing progression to get us warmed up for a punch shot, or a flighted shot that can stay underneath the wind. So first part of your progression are some nice stretches that I would recommend doing anytime before a round of golf or before a hitting session on the range. What we're gonna do is use the cart here, Hands up top, we're gonna drop our tailbone out and away from the cart, slight flex in your knees, and you're gonna feel your whole back stretch out all the way through your shoulder blades. Next drill, you're gonna take your left hand, put it on the bar a window of the cart, and slowly start facing away from your hand. You're gonna feel a nice stretch all the way through your pectoral and the upper part of your chest. And you'll do the same with your other hand as well. Last stretch, we're going to go crossways. So take your left hand and put it in front of your right shoulder. Lean into the cart. You'll start to feel a stretch already. And then if you want more of a stretch, turn away from your hand. And we'll do the same with the other arm. Push in first, turn away from your hand. All right, so now we're limber, loose, ready to go for our next part of our progression to a nice drill for feeling the length of an arm swing in a punch down shot, and then also emphasizing the organization of our arms while we let the body lead the swing. So what I like to do for this drill is take my glove hand, my lead hand, palms wide, stick my thumb of my trail hand on my pinky of my lead hand so now I'm organized with my arms they don't have to move from here what I'm gonna do is just focus on my arms following my stomach turn back and through back and through back and through as long as I keep my arms my stomach turning my arms will not leave this position if I stop the turn of my stomach I'll have to pull my arms in and that won't help me in my punch shot so just keeping this organization of my arms, turning back and through. This is about the amount of swing I wanna take. So what I'm gonna do from about 100 yards here is go up 30 yards, take my 130 yard club, because I'm not gonna swing any more distance back and forth than what I just showed you. I'm gonna keep this swing all about my body's rotation, not about arm length, not about club speed with my wrists. So I'm going up basically two and a half clubs for this 100 yard punch shot. So I'll do a practice swing for feel. Just focus on the drill I just did. One more practice swing. Okay, and I'm ready to go. Hitting a good punch down shot right at the pin. Nice flighted low ball flight. I was able to focus on the pattern of what I wanted, the motion of my stomach turning back and through. I knew exactly the length my swing was going to be, and I took enough club to help me achieve my goal. So when it's breezy and they say swing easy, they mean it. <laughs> club up, remember I used 30 more yards, a nine iron, when I would typically be using a wedge. So whatever two clubs more is to you, that's what I want you to use for your punch shots. Again, this is Jennifer Hudson teaching professional at the Academy of Golf. I hope you have a great week this week out at the reef. Let me know how I can help you on the course. Don't be afraid to practice out here. This is where we play. Have a great week.